Welcome to Cancer Lesson 1.3. What do we know about how cancer is caused? The goals of this lesson are to explore the concept of a carcinogen and how it relates to unregulated cell growth, and to introduce what the AIMS test is and how to interpret its results. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to identify which genes need to be mutated to cause unregulated cell growth, define the term carcinogen, and explain how carcinogens can act directly or indirectly to mutate DNA, explain how the AIMS test identifies carcinogens, and explain the importance of dose and potency to whether a compound is a carcinogen in humans. We will achieve these learning goals through a Socratic discussion and by engaging in an activity to apply the AIMS test to food additives. To prepare for this lesson, you'll need to review the following key scientific concepts that will be presented throughout the lesson. The definition of a carcinogen, which is any agent that causes cancer. The relationship between carcinogens and mutations, which is that carcinogens may cause mutations in DNA. The factors that influence whether a substance is a carcinogen, such as dose and potency. The fact that mutations in key genes can affect the growth of cells. And the AIMS test, which is a test that helps us identify whether a suspected carcinogen can induce mutations in DNA. You can review the scientific content in the background reading provided for you in the teacher primer, the teacher manual, and the student workbook. The teacher primer provides in-depth knowledge about the scientific content presented in this lesson. The teacher manual or lesson plan provides a minute-by-minute -minute explanation of the lesson structure. And the student workbook provides additional explanation for students. Be sure to print the AIMS test for food safety sheet and the AIMS database sheet. You will also need the video on the AIMS test, which can be found in the Lesson 1.3 PowerPoint. The first key point of the Do Now is that different types of cancers can be caused by different agents. These can be environmental, infectious, or hereditary. The second key point is that all cancers arise from mutations in key genes that regulate cell growth. We will get there by discussing the previous lesson's homework. You will want to ask the students what cancers can be caused by different agents and have students brainstorm what all cancers have in common, namely that they give rise to uncontrolled growth of cells. The key points of the discussion include the following. Carcinogens cause mutations in genes. Key genes that regulate cell growth, if mutated, can promote unregulated cell growth. And the AIMS test is used to identify and compare potential carcinogens. First, we engage in a discussion of the unique qualities that cancer cells have, such as uncontrolled growth, which is regulated by genes that control growth. When rate of growth exceeds rate of death, a tumor is formed. This leads us to a discussion of what carcinogens are and how carcinogens actually cause mutations. Next, we classify carcinogens into two groups, carcinogens that directly cause mutations, which are called mutagens, and carcinogens that indirectly cause mutations by increasing cell division and thereby increasing the odds for mutations. This concept provides the foundation for future understanding of what the AIMS test is and how the AIMS test works. Normally, bacteria grow well on agar plates supplied with nutrients like essential amino acids. AIMS used a mutant bacteria that no longer grows well on these plates. However, if the bacteria are exposed to a carcinogen, they may get mutations that cause their original mutations to revert. Now they can actually grow on these plates. There are a few colonies of bacteria on the plates normally because sometimes the mutation reverts spontaneously. But bacteria aren't humans, so we use animal models of cancer to more closely approximate humans. 
and as the students will discover, the dose and potency of a carcinogen are what really matter because the dose that causes mutations in bacteria, animals, and humans might be very different. The key point of this lesson's activity is to make sure that students understand that different factors influence whether a suspected carcinogen will cause cancer in humans. A key factor is dose. The Ames test may detect substances that are carcinogenic to bacteria, but that only cause cancer in humans at doses so high that humans would never be exposed to such high doses in real life. We will get there by data interpretation from the Ames test database. In this activity, students work in small groups to examine food additives and determine if there are any potential carcinogens present in these food or drink items. The students will use their worksheet to organize their findings as they look for patterns from the Ames test database. The key points of the wrap-up are to discuss limitations to screening tests for carcinogens. Examples of limitations are false positives, such as when a substance causes mutations in animal models but not in a human because of dose, or false negatives, such as when a substance is not detected as a carcinogen in the Ames test but does cause cancer in humans because it is metabolized differently in the animal models. In the wrap-up, we discuss how the Ames test can lead to false positives and false negative results, and we also touch on alternative methods for identifying potential carcinogens. The key point of the homework is that false positives and false negatives of the Ames test can lead to misclassification of chemicals as carcinogens. We will get there by watching the Bruce Ames video. One of the most common questions students have is, how do proto-oncogenes relate to cancer? Proto-oncogenes are normal, healthy genes that regulate cell division. But if they are mutated, they become oncogenes that can promote uncontrolled cell division. Students will hear the terms proto-oncogenes and oncogenes in the next units. Another question students have is why are there differences in carcinogenicity between male and female rats? This is due to physiological differences between male and female rats. They metabolize or break down compounds differently. At the end of the lesson, collect student worksheets to assess students' explanations of the properties of carcinogens and limitations of the Ames test. In this lesson, students were introduced to the idea that cancer is unregulated cell growth that results from genetic mutations. We will build on the idea that cancer results from genetic mutations in future lessons. Don't forget if you have any questions, concerns, or feedback to let us know. You can contact any of the CTSE team members and we'll be happy to help you.